The colleagues on the other side, Republicans, have said that we Democrats are pessimistic, that somehow uh, we don't believe in economic growth or 3 percent growth. And that's simply not the case. We just have a very different view about how you grow the economy. If you believe that the challenge of growing the economy is the investor class, that the people who need help to grow this economy are people who are speculating on Wall Street or CEOs of hospitals making $3 million, $6 million, uh, and that corporations which have record profits need more tax credits, and that's how we're going to grow the economy, then I suppose uh, you should vote for the Republican budget. If you believe, as colleagues on our side do, Mr. Jeffries and Mr. Higgins, Mr. Boyle, uh, uh, Ms. Delabine, that the way you grow the economy is by putting your faith in ordinary Americans who start small businesses, who are manufacturers, who are nurses, who uh, do the hard work that has built this country, then you would have a view that you get to economic growth by helping the middle class, that the tax cuts shouldn't be geared towards people who are already invested in the stock market, that the problem isn't that our Dow isn't growing fast enough. The problem is that 50 percent of Americans are working harder and wages have stagnated for the last 30 years. Our belief is we can have that economic growth if we provide tax relief for the working families who deserve it and not the speculators, if we invest in their uh, job training programs, if we invest in programs like Medicaid and Medicare, which, by the way, aren't just moral programs, but according to McKinsey, are going to lead to the most jobs in the 21st century on elder care, on child care, and jobs for the middle class. So that is the philosophical difference. Do you believe that America's greatness lies with Wall Street speculators and CEOs, or do you believe America's greatness lies with ordinary, hardworking Americans, small business owners, and people who actually do the jobs? Democrats are for the belief that we are great because of ordinary individuals, and the Republican budget says let's put all our faith in the executive investor class. That's the real difference. Uh, my final point uh, is I want to commend Congressman Sanford for uh, really indicating what's at stake, because if you want revenue neutrality, as the Republican budget says on the tax proposal, their only way of getting there is a border adjustment tax. A border adjustment tax would be the largest tax increase on the middle class probably in the last 50 years. And I would urge this committee to join Congressman Sanford on a bipartisan basis and say no to the largest tax increase in the last 50 years. Let's make it clear we're against a border adjustment tax. Gentleman yields back. I now 